to help me finish. You got to get rid of those satellite dishes for me. Cable's better anyways, you know? All right. Hey, thanks. What the hell are you doing here? Looking for you, Zoe. I think I'm in love. Don't be ridiculous. Haven't you heard? Heard what, my love? The school has broken out into a massive fight. Every gang and faction is fighting each other. What? Yeah. Oh, man, I gotta go. How am I gonna deal with this? I'm gonna need some serious backup. Where's Russell? Where's your buddy Edgar? Russell has been holed up in the Wonder Meat slaughterhouse, hiding from the cops. He's worried about going to prison after stealing that bike. Russell can comprehend prison? Wow. Look, I'll see you later. Well... What about love? It'll have to wait, Zoe. Duty calls. Jimmy, there you are. I don't know what to do, and I smell like meat. Grr! That little runt. Thanks, Jimmy. Come on, we gotta get to the school. All hell's breaking loose. Hey, Jim, this is your turf. What the hell's going on? The whole place has gone mental. Yeah, it's your old friend Gary. He's the one causing all the trouble. The kid's a complete psycho, and now he's got the teachers and prefects on his side. So? So, we run in there, try to stop the fighting, and find a way to deal with Gary. <laughs> All right, one question. How are we gonna stop a load of kids from beating the crap out of each other? It's America. We go in there with threats and bribes until we get what we want. If all else fails, we beat the crap out of everyone. That's why I brought along backup. Russell likes to hurt people for peace. Cool. Then it's a plan. Get it. 
kind of hurt. Edgar, we'll take out the gang leaders. Without them, Gary's got nothing. Someone's here to see you. Oh, it's the thug. Don't worry, boys. I'll deal with him. You're getting really tiresome, Darby. Cut it out. Crush! Oh, Lord. I have to carry on the family name. Oh. Get out. You're about to be... You finished. I have to carry on the family name. Oh. Ah. Hey! What are you doing, Johnny? Why are you taking orders from Gary? Shut up, Jimmy! You left us and everything went down the toilet! I beat you once, I'll beat you again. 
Crush! Hey, quit pushing! Oh. Lie there and cry like a girl. Bunch of bitches. <laughs> that was incredibly satisfying. Edgar, go help everyone calm down. I've got some business with Gary. Understood. Good luck. <laughs> you, what is that in your hand? Weapons are for prefects only. No! Get off my little body! Rawr! Rawr! Slow down so Russell can smash you! Aw, oh, come on. Your attention, please! Jimmy is complete human trash! Gary, you little bitch! Come out! James, I've been waiting. Let the games begin! Gary! Moron! Why'd you do it, Gary? Why not? I won! I tricked everyone! Starting with you, the head, the loser kids in town, and the prefects! Me! I won! You are sad, man! I might be sad, but I run your world, moron! And don't you forget it! You did all my dirty work for me, Hopkins! You're like a puppet! Only dumber! Whatever! Let's finish this! Are you having fun yet, Jimmy? Heads up! If you prove to be one thing this year, it's slow! You'll never catch me, Hopkins! You're too trusting, Jimmy. From the start, you were pathetically naive. Careful, don't hurt yourself. Poor little Jimmy. All alone and big scary Bullworth. Under fire from Russell and his goons, desperate for help. So sad, so hopeless, just needing a friend, any friend. You were so easy to manipulate, Jimmy. <laughs> and once we were friends, it was all so clear. You had your lust for power, but without intelligence to back it up, using you as a pawn was so wonderfully obvious. Let Jimmy have his fun. Let him play his childish little games with Ernest, Ted, Darby, Johnny, and Edgar, and just wait for the right moment to swoop in and take it all. It was like lining up dominoes. It all felt together so perfectly. Time with whores like Lola, I was in the dorm planning. While you were racing bikes, while you were playing at the carnival as a child, my plan was coming together. The thing is, if I win, you're just another punk! 
You win, and you'll be sent away even quicker for beating up the head boy! Why'd you do it, Gary? Because I can! Because making little people like you and the morons who run this place eat out of the palm of my hand feels great! But I never did anything to you! You would have if I'd given you the chance! Face it, I'm smarter than you! Oh, congratulations! <laughs> You're smarter than me! You hate everyone, and everyone hates you! Genius! The head likes me! I tied him up, turned his dumb school into a battleground, got kids expelled, unfairly, put several others into therapy, and he still likes me! You're such a loser! <clears throat> well, at least my mom doesn't make her living on her back! You're dead! <clears throat> Stop doing that! Any regrets, Jimmy? Back off, idiot! After you're expelled from here for your- Scram! Hell off. Smith! I heard the whole thing! You're expelled! Come and untie me, boy! Yes, sir! <sighs> Sorry, didn't see you there. You know, I think I may have judged you too unfairly, boy. Yes, a little rough around the edges, but you're a diamond, boy. A diamond. Thank you, sir. Now take out the trash, would you, Hopkins? My pleasure. So it was you who took on this monstrous little wretch, was it? Yep. <laughs> what a hero. A lone wolf. Uh-huh. Well, no. To be honest, sir, I did have a lot of help from some friends. Like this girl, Zoe. She got expelled because she complained about Mr. Burton hitting on her. Burton? Well, he's fired! I hope he rots in hell! And a guy named Peter Kowalski, good friend of mine. Never heard of him. Yeah, well, he keeps quiet. He's kind of shy. Shy? The boy must be a genius. Why, he should be head of the school. Pete? Great idea. Now, about that letter to my mother... What letter? Finally, everything is sorted out. More or less. I mean, I don't want to say we're going to live happily ever after or anything like that, but life is certainly going to get easier.